Okay, so before we continue, I'd like to mention that I do not have the 10 or the SE2, but I will be basing my comparison of these two devices off of individual reviews, which I would link in the description below, as well as anything I talk about in this uh, video. So yeah, let's go. So the iPhone 10 was released uh, 3rd of November 2017. The iPhone SE2 was released 24th of April 2020. So that means that the iPhone 10 is three years older than the SE2. So does that mean that the SE2 is better because it's newer? Well, that isn't always the case. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to look at uh, what advantages the iPhone 10 has over the SE2, as well as what advantages the SE2 has over the iPhone 10. So yeah, let's begin. So yeah, let's talk about the advantages that the iPhone 10 has over the SE2. Well, the very first thing would be price. Okay, now before I go on and talk about price, I'd like to mention that the iPhone 10 is three years old, like I've mentioned already. So it's no longer on Apple's website. In fact, to buy the iPhone 10 new is almost impossible. But it is available on the used market and it retails for around $400, which is the same starting price for the iPhone SE 2. Hence the importance of the debate. But anyway, the iPhone 10 originally retailed for $1,000. So it was regarded as the premium, the best of the best. At that time, it was released alongside the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus. And it was marketed as the iPhone, the new generation iPhone, the one that everyone should actually get. So the iPhone 10 is premium. Premium in terms of its build, it's made out of stainless steel and glass, front and the back. And yeah, once you're holding the iPhone 10, you know that you'll hold a premium flagship. So that's the iPhone 10. The SE2, on the other hand, is the total opposite. In fact, it's actually targeted towards those who want to save a lot of money. So if you're someone who wants to save a lot of money on your iPhone, buy the SE2. So right there, you could actually make your own decision. You know, if you're someone who wants a really premium flagship, you're going with the iPhone 10. Still on the iPhone 10, one other advantage it has would be display. And I mean that in terms of size and quality of the display. The iPhone 10 is basically a 1080p display, the first OLED on an iPhone. It, Apple calls it the Super Retina display, but it's basically just an OLED. A 2436 by 1125, that's the screen resolution, with a PPI of 558. So the iPhone 10 looks amazing. The screen looks amazing. The SE2 on the other hand is a 720p screen and is an LCD. So in terms of display, the iPhone 10 is the way to go. But still on display size, the iPhone 10 has a 5.8 inch display while the SE2 has a 4.6 inch display. In 2020, if your smartphone has a lot of bezels, it's not modern, like in any way. The iPhone 10 was the very first iPhone to have that notch. The SE2 looks exactly like the 6, the 6 Plus, the 6S, 6S Plus, the 7, the 7, yeah, you get the point. The SE2 is in no way modern. If you're someone who wants a modern looking smartphone, Premium smartphone, the iPhone 10 is definitely what you're going with. Still, some other advantages the iPhone 10 has over SE2 would be the UI. It's now this gesture based system, different from what you would find on the SE2. So, if you want something modern again with the gestures and all, the iPhone 10 is probably what you're going with. So, we have Face ID on the iPhone 10, which isn't really better than the Touch ID on the SE2, but it is modern. Most smartphones today are taking away that physical home button and either putting it under the glass or they're just using Face ID. 
Apple's Face ID is really, really secure as well as really fast. So I guess that's an advantage. And emoji, which is probably the most fun uh, addition to the iPhone or the new generation iPhones. It's something. If that's something you're really into, yeah, the iPhone 10. Again, still based on it being uh, more modern. Lastly, I will talk about cameras. The iPhone 10 has two cameras, which is better than one, I think. <laughs> the iPhone 10 has uh, a main wide lens and a secondary telephoto lens. So if you're someone who's really into taking telephoto shots, two times zoom and all of that, the iPhone 10 definitely has the advantage. So, uh, in my opinion, I think the iPhone 10 is really, really, really good. Uh, now let's talk about the SE2. The iPhone SE2, or the iPhone SE 2020. I don't know why Apple, okay, um, the iPhone SE, in my opinion, is pretty, pretty good. A pretty good deal, in fact. The iPhone SE, simply put, is a, an iPhone 11. Pro Max in an iPhone A body. So you're getting that super fast A13 Bionic chip. You're getting a, a phone that will last you for more years than the iPhone 10, and more likely a better battery. Let me explain. So yeah, because the iPhone 10 is three years old now, the battery would probably be three years worse. The iPhone SE2 or 2020 has the A13 Bionic chip. When compared to the A11 Bionic chip, it is obviously better. You're going to get a phone that will last you performance-wise longer than the iPhone 10. You're also going to get yourself a phone that will get software updates for at least five years. So from now until 2025, you should be okay. So if you're someone who really wants a phone that would last you really long, that would perform really well for such a long time, the SE2 is definitely the one to get. I mean, it's an iPhone, okay? This has more colors, so yeah. I don't know, that's just, that's just me talking. Okay, so now that that's done, I guess it's time for us to conclude now. The iPhone 10 is a smartphone that you would be getting if you want premium, you want expensive, sort of. You want that telephoto lens, you, you, you want a modern looking smartphone, you want an OLED screen, you want that 1080p resolution. But if you're someone who just wants a smartphone, you want a smartphone that would last, last for a really long time, you want a small screen, I don't know, for those very small demographic, you don't really care that much about battery or display size or resolution. Yeah. And SE 2020 is probably a good buy. So yeah, that's been it. Okay. See you in the next video. <laughs> so yeah, let's go.